there, I'm Chrissy. You found my YouTube channel, Chrissy Love, where I talk about fragrance. I post here twice a week on my videos. And I also post to my Instagram and TikTok channels. So I'll link those in the description box below if you want to check those out. So thank you so much for being here. When you like and comment and subscribe, it really means the world to me. I'm a little boutique channel over here. I do this for fun as a hobby. It's not a job. It's I'm not trying to make it a job. I just do it for fun. So I like to keep it light, I like to keep it positive, and I think that's the point of all this and building community here. So thanks so much for being here and being part of that. Today I am talking about Owl Rehab perfumes. And I buy my Owl Rehab perfumes now on the Al Rashad website where I can get them for the cheapest price. The oils are around $3. The sprays or other perfumes are around, I think, 4 to $6 depending. They're so inexpensive and most of them are really great quality. It's actually my second video on Owl Rehab perfumes. So I'll link below to my first video. I'm doing, of course, different ones for this one. So let's jump right in. I have six sitting in front of me right now to talk about. Um, so I'll start off with what I've talked about a couple of times already in past videos, but I, since we're talking about the line, me as well. And that is Love Apple, which I have both in the oil and the spray. And this is a yummy, incredible candied apple drizzled in caramel. It's like being at the fair. And it really maintains that density, that syrupy caramel, that like delicious gourmand. It is so, so good. Uh, I'll tell you the notes, but there, it's actually a really straightforward scent. It has top note of green apple, middle notes of vanilla and cinnamon, and base note of musk. But there is nothing musky about this. It really is a delicious gourmand caramel candied apple. And performance-wise, when I layer the oil and the spray, they really last all day. I do have to spray the spray a couple of times throughout the day to get the projection back, but it lasts great. And oh my God, just smelling it right now, it is so good. Next, I have here Tootie Musk, <laughs> which I have in the oil and the spray. So when I tested it, I used both. It has top notes of black currant, rose hip, and pink pepper, middle notes of raspberry, blackberry, and white lily, and base notes of white musk and vanilla. And this is a sweet, juicy raspberry scent. It's done really well. It's yummy. You know, it's really single note, so probably great for layering or if you just really love raspberry. But it's this realistic but overripe, syrupy, sweet, delicious raspberry. It is fantastic. And performance-wise, I did need to reapply this throughout, well, about half of the day I had to reapply it um, just once um, to get more projection. But really, this is a delicious raspberry scent. I highly recommend it, layering or otherwise. It is fantastic. So that is Tutti Musk. <laughs> Next I have here green tea. So less my style, but still a really good one. It has notes of green tea and citruses, according to Fragrantica anyway. Um, and really it's an unsweetened green tea scent. It smells kind of like a freshly cleaned hotel room, like kind of like a sterile lean to the scent. It's extremely fresh and pure. Um, but yeah, if you like green tea and it's just purest unsweetened form, it, this is it. This is really what it smells like. And unfortunately, performance-wise, it's really just a skin scent. It stays very close. No matter what I do, it doesn't really project. Now, I only own it in the oil because I couldn't find it in the other perfume on the website. But mm, it's good. It's so comforting and nice. It feels really natural and fresh. So I like green tea a lot. It's a really good one you kind of can't go wrong with. Next I have here, Oud and Rose. And I only have this in the oil, mind you. But this has notes of roses, white musk, and Oud, go figure. And what this smells like, it's it's honestly just really lovely. Like it smells like sugared rose petals with this kind of dusty animalic oud to it. And in the dry down, it becomes this waxy, sweet rose and oud. So it's it's actually kind of basic, kind of straightforward, not really complex. But it's also not overbearing. I mean, I'm not really a rose or an oud fan, but this comes off as being really sophisticated and timeless and, and you know, it's the right amount of sweetness too, so that it's not this like, you know, blad, bitter oud and rose. It's like, it's, it's a little sweet as well. So it's not really my style, but I'm definitely gonna wear it around. And maybe if I just do a dab, a couple dabs will be enough, you know, to kind of like have it be kind of close by and, you know, not too powerful. Performance wise, it really is excellent. Like just wearing the oil, it projected on me when I, you know, wore it right. Like I put it on multiple places and everything. It stayed around all day, it projected. So this is a gorgeous scent. I'm really impressed, especially for the price. It's 
pretty amazing. Um, it, it leans a little bit more into like the head shop territory just because of that oud, but it is, it is really lovely. So that is oud and rose. Second to last, I have So Sweet, and I could not find the notes anywhere for this, unfortunately, so I'm kind of flying blind here, but um, it's also not really my favorite. Like, I have the, only have the oil, um, but when I first applied it, it was like a scented Barbie doll head kind of feeling, like very plasticky with this like synthetic childlike freeness to it, as if it's scented plastic. And the dry down is just this generic sweetness. Like that plasticness went away. I would say the fruit it leans most toward is pear, but it's not sophisticated. You know, it smells sweet. It's it's pleasing. Um, I might layer this with other pear scents if I want to have more sticking power since it's an oil. Uh, it definitely loses that plastic vibe in the dry down, which is really good. But it's kind of like a generic sweet scent that doesn't really wow me in any particular way. But it's fine. And for the price, honestly, I can't really complain. Um, performance wise, it is really more of a skin scent. It doesn't project around me that well. So I don't really recommend this one very highly. But, you know, it's fine. And that is so sweet. Lastly, I have fruit, very straightforward fruit, and I have it in the oil only. And this has notes of pineapple, kiwi, banana, mandarin orange, grapes, pink grapefruit, green apple, and white musk. So basically all the fruits. And it smells like that too. It smells like ambrosia salad. Like at, when I first apply it, it smells like this candied fruitiness. Like imagine the maraschino cherries, the canned mandarin oranges, the marshmallows. It's like absolutely an ambrosia salad. And the dry down, it basically smells like a sweet, slightly less sweet version of So Sweet. So it's, it's yummy, but it's kind of a basic fruitiness. It leans toward pear again, um, but I like it. I actually like it a bit more than So Sweet. I think because it has seems to have more of like a blend of different fruits in it. It just pops a little more. But again, this is a skin scent for sure. It doesn't project really at all. Um, but yeah, it has kind of like a pear likeness to it. It smells a little bit like a fruit rind. You get a little bit of a fiber feeling from it, a little density. So yeah, it's really fun. It's really nice. It's like there's a fruit salad in a perfume, which is cool. So yeah, that is fruit. So that is my new additions, my six new Al Rehab perfumes. A uh, couple may or may not stay, green tea, I don't know, we'll see, it's a little bit uh, too fresh for what I usually like. But again, for the price, there's like no risk in buying them, basically, they're so fun. Um, on that website, if you buy them in bulk, you also get them for cheaper. So if you, like for example, for the Love Apple, I got a box of six of the ADPs for like less than $4 a piece, so, you really can't go wrong. And I am just consistently impressed with their quality and performance too. So really happy with my Al Rehab additions here. Let me know which Al Rehab is your favorite perfume. It seems like we all kind of have our favorites now. So let me know. And I hope you got a lot out of this video. I really enjoyed preparing for it and filming it. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a very beautiful day.